My clients, Anne and Alan, I've worked with them for years. Um, we've been working on decorating their main floor, second floor, and this was the last space in their home to complete. So. Anne brought me in to finish a home office for her, which was perfect timing. Anne was beginning to work from home, so she wanted a dedicated workspace. She has a large family room in the basement, so the nice thing is that we had space to still have the TV and the sofa area and a separate library and office area for Anne to work from. The bones of the space were beautiful. It has 10-foot ceilings, it has a big window. You'd never know that you're in a basement, but the problem was that it was just very bland. It had a beige carpet, it had the builder beige walls. I saw a lot of potential in it because it was so big, it had natural light, but unfortunately it had just become a dumping ground. So we really needed to find ways to create zones. Originally the room was very tone on tone, so the walls were a neutral beige, the floor was a lovely carpet, but it was just very plain. So what we needed to do, particularly because Anne loves white and light furniture, we needed to create more contrast so that it would feel interesting and grounded. So we found a beautiful floor from Torley's. It's waterproof, which is wonderful for a basement. It's heated underneath, which makes it super comfortable and it's very durable. And then we actually took the existing carpet that was in perfectly brand new condition and just had it bound to a custom area rug size. And that way it makes this family room much more comfortable and it was a total save. We added a large sectional sofa that's comfortable for watching movies and just lounging around. And that's the more casual, everyday part of this space. But the area that Anne's utilizing every day for work is a large desk surface and a meeting table. We fell in love with this stone table from Cocoon. It's got this really interesting detail on the edge and we thought it would be great for not only hosting meetings or using as another work surface, but also as a games table when the family gets together. And then she has her large desk area, which is actually a dining table that we utilized as a desk because this was such a big room that it needed something that was large in scale, but still light enough that it didn't feel like an old world library table. Alan preferred not to have any cords around the desk. So instead of doing a traditional desk lamp, we did this beautiful pendant light from Union Lighting. And it's a great way to not only add a lot of illumination to the desk surface, but it also creates a little bit more of a feature in the space. Anne was really hoping for some beautiful built-ins, and we looked at a few ideas. Some were traditional, some were modern, and we landed on this cubby idea where they float because it was a good way to display not only their large collection of books, but also they had a number of really interesting objects from travels, and so it was a great way to put those on display too. We did the quintessential library ladder in a contrasting black. It stands out this way, and it really makes it feel much more old world while still being very functional for her. One of the things I find when I work with clients who have either a large collection or just a number of smaller objects that they'd like to include in a space, it's better if you can try and work them in some way into the architecture of the room. So the ledges and the bookshelves really help to give these smaller objects a sense of cohesion and purpose in the space. I'm so glad that Anne and Alan are enjoying this space. This forgotten room has now become a space that they're able to use every day. They love working down here, which is wonderful to hear. And they also have a space that they can enjoy with their family.